Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Maple Valley. My name is uh, Ben Harry, and uh, today I'm going to talk about movies. I, uh, I love movies, don't you? Well, I guess at least I love actresses. <laughs> I buy a lot of DVD movies because I like spending money on things I'll never use again. I keep all my DVD movies next to my uh, exercise bike and my golf clubs. <laughs> um, do you notice how every year they come up with new editions of the same movies? There's the standard edition, and the extended edition, and the collector's edition, and the 10th year anniversary edition, and the director's cut, and the final cut. Blade Runner actually has 76 editions, different ones. <laughs> Basically, I think it's just the producer's way of telling me, you know, you're, you're a mindless idiot, just shut up and give us more money. <laughs> but did, did you see how, like, when you pop in a DVD into the player, it shows kind of like the, uh, the FBI warning about, you know, you shouldn't copy that stuff, right? I think they should, you know, move, replace that stuff with, uh, with a warning that says, if you borrow this DVD from a friend a year ago and you haven't returned it, you're an evil man and you're going to hell, right? I mean, personally, I'm, I'm going to go to hell anyway, but maybe some of my um, ex-friends will keep the warning, I hope. Actually, I, I do have a lot of DVDs and I do like watching the same old movies over and over again, but did you notice how like an old movie, if you watch it again after a while, it kind of loses power? Like, for example, last week I watched Gone with the Wind again and it just wasn't as funny. <laughs> but there's, there's also this trend recently with, with directors to, to make the movies so long. Like, uh, I don't know if you've seen uh, Michael Bay's Transformer 3. That was three hours long. I'm, I just hope that Transformers 4 isn't going to be four hours long. This movie really didn't transform me into like a you know, dancing monkey. Another thing. Awesome there. If you've seen, by the way, so, uh, the Transformer 2 had this uh, actress, Megan Fox. Did anybody know her? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, after the movie, she interviewed for this magazine or whatever, and she said about her boss, Michael Bay, the director, that he's a Nazi. But Hollywood was like a different planet. What's her punishment? She was not cast in the next uh, movie, Transformers 3. I don't know if you've seen Megan Fox, but if she worked for me, she could call me anything she wants. <laughs> and, uh, she could come and call me Nazi, and I would just say, Yeah, yeah, I'm a scoot, come and see right? <laughs> so, there was this movie uh, that came out a couple years ago, Avatar. Did you see it? Uh, it's man. a science fiction movie, and I, I've seen, I don't think it's, I think it's kind of unrealistic, don't you think? I mean, do they expect me, you know, there's this actress, Sigourney Weaver, who plays some scientist, do they expect us to believe that in the 22nd century you're still smoking? Really? I don't think so. <laughs> but, generally movies are not really the most realistic thing. There's this classic scene in many movies where this, some, uh, some cop is investigating some mobster, and the mobster comes up and says, uh, hey, you, know, you better drop this or you're going to end up in a ditch. And then the, the cop says, really, are you threatening me? And the guy says, oh, no, no, I'm just informing you. You see, because, you know, um, he's, he's perfectly fine with killing cops, but threats, oh, no, that's, like, illegal. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. Yeah.